Hello YouTube, what's going on, buddy? Chuffer here. Um, real quick, the quality of the video is going to look a little downgraded. It's going to look a little blurry, but I fixed it up now, but give it time for you to notice the difference. The microphone quality as well is just outright garbage. Apologies on that, but that'll be fixed eventually. Again, give it time. I didn't notice this until I recorded a ton of videos. I recorded like six videos, so yeah. After those six are done, you've seen them, then you'll notice the difference. So, sorry for that. Here's the video. Hello, YouTube. What's going on, Jeffrey here. Today, we're going to be unboxing the Starlink Battle for Atlas Starter. Is this like a... What is it called again? Starter Pack. Duh. I don't know why I didn't remember that. Um, I got the Switch version. So, yeah. Um, this version at least comes with this guy. And then Star Fox, his ship, whatever that's called. These two weapons. And you can kind of see it right here. It's uh, the Joy-Con grip thingy. Yeah, I'm really interested in how this works on the other consoles. So if you all know how it works, let me know. Um, also, this is going to be a little bit of a weird unboxing because it's in this way. Usually, I have it in a different room. Um, so the stuff's a little shifted for now. But uh, hopefully, I can get some cables to really extend the range of these USB ports to get it into a different room. Anyways, let's just jump into this today. So I'm seeing this. There's a little flat back here I open up. I'm going to do that real quick. And then it looks like this. Um, kind of just push down as you can kind of see I'm doing it there you go that it works um Lou Shutter gave me that tip in a video he made on the Sky channel okay well this you can't really see this well I can just peel it off from here but um Lou Shutter is the one who said that from Skyanders so yeah all right let's uh, let's see I hear these things are really hard to open also this box here just kind of reminds me of um, Disney Infinity a bit but for those who are wondering what the sides look like, there is uh, one side. Here is the back of the box. Um, yeah, it's, I'm not I'm not good at this, but like it's there. There's also a poster. That's cool. I've seen people open this and everything. The bottom doesn't really matter, does it? Nah, it's just text. And you got the top little Nintendo logo. That's cool. So let's get this out. Jeez. Oh my, that's the game. <laughs> okay. Um. Alright, um, we got our little safety book. We'll just look at that. Let me get the game. Alright. Oh, that's... That's a great cover. Huh. Uh, oh, oh, there it is. That's a great... That's not a... <laughs> that's a great cover. Not. Um, the packaging on it was really cheap, but... This is what the main thing is about. It looks like we got... Star Fox's ship, the Joy-Con grip, the two pilots, and two weapons. You get the same weapons on, um, all those starter packs. I looked in Best Buy. So, let's see here. How do I open the up... Alright, so these weapons, they should just pop right out, but I hear they're a nightmare. To get out? Well, not really. You just put them out themselves. These weapons feel kind of plasticky, not gonna lie. But, I mean, it's toys, so. So this one should come out like... I'm kind of covering it up. From, like, right here. No? Okay. <laughs> Jeez, how do I get this out? Oh my. They really don't want you getting in these. Oh, did I break this thing? Jeez. Oh no, I almost got it out. There we go. Alright, there's this other ice thing. I'll get close up, probably. And then we got two pilots. I know this guy is Star Fox. Oh, these guys come up easily, don't they? Yeah, they do. A little bit. Yeah. Oh, cool. Look at the back of them. They have that little, like, thing on the back. That's cool. I'll get better close ups. Wow, the detail on these toys is amazing. Jeez. Um. And then here's this other guy. Can I just pull him out like this? Jeez. There we go. Got him. Wow, these are so small. The head is like... I don't know. It's so small. I'll get better close-ups, probably. Alright. Let's do the ship. So do I just, like, pull this out? Oh, well. That's part of it. Alright. So the ship apparently is supposed to do this. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, yeah, the bottom does it too. That's cool. So I can have it up like this. That's cool. That is cool. Um, is there anything else that moves? I know the wings come apart somehow. Do I, like, push a button? No, they just pop off. Nice. Wow. The connectivity feels really good. It's like a Velcro. Is it, like, Velcro in here? No, it's, like, styrofoam. That's cool. But the connectivity feels really nice to have. Um, the way it feels. 
I know this part that connects, so we'll see how that works. Oh yeah, the weapons. Let's just put some weapons on this real quick. So the weapons, can I put it on the left or right side? Also, it's this way. Oh, that goes nice. It's so satisfying to click these in. That's cool. But, you can kind of tell it's styrofoam. I wonder if that'll wear off over time. Alright. Then we got this big old base here with the Joy-Cons. Oh, wow. That, that was no problem at all. Alright. So here this is. So basically, um, you slide in your Joy-Cons. I haven't done that yet, obviously. So I heard there's like a place it connects into. Yeah, it looks like that's on the other consoles. But I know it uses the NFC. So let's go ahead and put all this together real quick just to see. Oh, wait, so the ship just clicks in. It's got some weight to it. Alright, oh wait, no, no, no. We have to put in um our pilot first. Hang on. We'll just use Star Fox. So I believe it just clicks in. Yeah, it clicks in. That's like a styrofoamish click. Oh wow, the figures, these little figures are really bendable. I wouldn't bend them. They're, like, they're on the legs, they can easily snap. They're not those types of figures. Alright. Yeah, it's like a... Okay, that's interesting. It like, it like bends super easily, and it, when you put it in, it's like a weird click. Okay, this back place, make sure you put it in right. Alright, so this kind of just clicks in. Is it in? I think it's in. Oh, there it is. It kind of matches up down here. You can kind of see the base. That's cool. So can I actually see Star Fox? Yeah, you can kind of see him in this ship. Not well, but like, I'm sure other ships that'll work better, but I don't have any other ship packs. I didn't get any. And then you just put some weapons on. So I bought more weapons and more pilots today. Um, holy cow, this is huge. Yeah, it's got some weight to it. I kind of wish they used motion controls, but I kind of see why you not. It's on there really well, though. So I feel like it can... I think if they do put motion controls on, it works. There's like a little light underneath that. I wonder what that's for. See this little light right here? I wonder what that's for. I don't know. Alright, how do I get this off? Do I just... There we go. Alright, that's cool. How do I get this guy off without... Okay. Alright, that's that's cool. Um, we have a ton of stuff to unbox today, so I'm going to go ahead and disassemble this real quick as I'm talking, and then we'll unbox everything else. So, um, we have the poster. This should be easy. Um, I'm probably going to put it up um, somewhere. I'm not quite sure where. Um, I would put it under, Should I put it on the Skyrim's Imaginaries? I'll probably stick it underneath Skyrim's Imaginaries. How big is this real quick? Because it doesn't look too big. Wow, this is small. Like, I thought the Imaginary poster was small. But, like, dang. So, one side of this says Starlight Battle for Atlas. This side I'm opening up has a little toys on it. That looks cool. And then here's the opposite side of it. Nice. Oh, cool. It puts everyone... There's not much to this game. Oh, it even says, um, like, fire stuff. Like, the elements and all. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I'm definitely going to put this up probably underneath Imaginators. Um, because this is a Twitch Live game, I guess you can put it there. Alright. Oh, and the game. The game isn't much. Um, how do I, how can I open this? It, this isn't, this is, for a, um, game, in general, it's, the packaging ceiling is very cheap. I will say that, but, like, it's not really about how you seal the game. It's in a box, so no one's gonna try to unseal this game in the first place. So, yeah. Alright, that was easy. And then it just opens up. Yeah. Oh, wow, there's actually a paper in here. That's cool. At least we get something. Oh, it even opens up as, like, a book about warranty and all that. Technical support. At least there's something. And then the game. What's the game card look like? Oh, okay. It just has the logo on it. So, for those who want the game card and know I'm not looking this, there it is. It's really hard to see in the light. Will the camera focus on it? No? Okay. Well, I'll give you a close-up of that. But here's the case. Oh, wow, the back is super boring. The back is just all this information. Like, why? I don't know. That's kind of dumb if you ask me. Um, 4 gigs. Alright, you only have to download 4 gigs, it says. That's not bad. Um, I thought it was 6. Alright, let's get into everything else, because we don't have much time. Um, I got this little weapon pack. We'll start off doing the weapons, because they seem easy. I've heard they're easy to pop out. So let's, um, let's do this. So with Skyrim, I just kind of pulled these down. Is that going to work here? Oh yeah, it does. Jeez, these packages are, like, really hard to get into. Alright. Oh, cool, it kind of rips off from the bottom. Alright. Oh, whoa. This kind of happens. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Alright. Um. So then I just kind of pop these out. 
I probably should have said it with these glove brushes, but whatever. Jeez. Will they ever come out? <laughs> okay. There we go. Alright, I'll give some close-ups of these. Um, but I'll hold it up to the camera so I'll take a picture of, I guess. But yeah. That's cool. My lighting issue isn't the best, so I'll have to give some close-ups. And then we got this to have them pack. I don't really... I'm not quite sure what these are. It says... Freeze Ray, Mark II, and an Iron Fist. Alright. These are, like, easy to open up. But, like, once you get to the actual removing of the weapons... Yes, yeah, so this is the Freeze Ray. The Freeze Ray, Mark II. It's really thin. I will say that. This other one, the Iron Fist, it looks like a motorcycle to me. I don't know why. Well, I can say why. Let me just get it out. Like, right here is the exhaust. And you can now see the front, it's kind of like a hammer. I wonder how this works. It looks like this just comes out like a battery ram. Not really like a battery ram, but it just pops out. That's cool. Alright. Um, another weapon pack. Maybe. <laughs> Jeez, this is the one to open. There we go. Got it. <laughs> Jeez, some of these are easy, some of these are hard to open. But alright. Oh, my. This is... There we go. I should have read what those were. Alright. So this is a fire one. I guess. I don't know. It kind of looks like a, a spear, I guess. I don't know. This looks like a machine gun. Not gonna lie. This ice one looks like a machine gun. I think it is. That's cool. I wonder if, I wonder if you have to charge it up or whatever. I don't know. And then we have Shockwave Cause G Mark II. Oh, oh. Eh, close enough. What does it say up here? Works with all star ships. Okay, it's in different languages. Cool. So the people who made this game um, were Ubisoft Toronto um, from Canada. Kind of crazy because I know a lot of people. I know there's a lot of YouTubers that live in Canada. Um, Vian, one of the many, lives in Toronto. And who else? Um, Unbox Therapy. They are in Toronto. So yeah. This one looks weird. Huh. This end looks like a satellite like this. Not gonna lie. Whatever. This looks kind of funky as well. But it's Starlink, that's probably what it's supposed to be. Like, where the pretties look like jets up at the top corner. But here's the full weapon. I'll, I'll get better close to these or something. Alright, and then we are going into the pilots. So I bought two of them because I'm going to get ship packs end of this week. Um, or eventually I'll get ship packs. But, um, Eli Arborwood, we're unboxing him first. Oh, here's his box real quick before I rip it open. Not like it matters. Because I can't make close ups. Oh my goodness. Because I can't take close ups of these. Because they're already open. Alright, how do I get you out of here without breaking you? Oh, yeah, there's a back plate. Well, to me, that's kind of separated from the plastic. Oh, okay. Oh, the back plate is like right next to the guy. That's kind of why it's there, I guess. Wow. The attention to detail is like crazy. They put some good work in these toys. I will say. I'm liking these toys better than Skinders already. It's it's crazy. Alright, um, and then we have Carl Zeon. Okay. That was easy. And this is actually our last thing we're gonna unbox. And yeah. It's like a it's like a frog thing. I don't know, it kinda reminds me of what's the Skinders name? Tri tip of it. But with like a different color. He's really big. So yeah. I'm still pretty good. Um that's everything I bought for Starlink. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Probably about 15 minutes long. Um, I'm going to make another video of me playing the actual game. There is a bit of a download, which isn't that bad, but yeah. Um, I can't wait to play this game. I'm not a big space fan, but like, I'm kind of excited. The question is, where is all this going to go? <laughs> um, I don't know where it's going to go, but I'll find that out as time goes by. Alright, that's going to be that for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until then.